local within the system right copying the data from uh, within the system only that is the local client copy SCCL local client copy right local client copy so within the system within the city copying the data from one client to another client right here you have the one client you can just want to create the one more client then you want to copy the data to this client then you have to log into the your target client and pick up the data from here to here within the system right within the system within the system you are copying the data from so one client to another client is called the local client copy right so that is clear right everyone i think i i, I hope it's clear the local client copy for everyone right so then what about the remote client copy remote client copy remote client copy means remotely copy the data which means for performing the remote client copy remote client copy so today we will discuss about the remote client copy remote client copy so remote client copy means so uh, here local means within the system remote means between two systems suppose in hyderabad i have one center in bangalore you have the one center so i want to give the parcel from hyderabad to bangalore hyderabad to bangalore client so between if i talk about the sap language so between two system between two clients so transfer the data from one client to another client is called the transferring the data from one client to another client is called the remote client copy remotely you are copying the data suppose if i take the one more example here if i take the one more example i have one mobile so then you also one mobile in my mobile i have the one movie i want to transfer to so anshul here i want to transfer to the anshul so what i have to do so both are different devices but here we can establish the bluetooth connectivity as a connection i have to create it first of all right so in this case in this procedure i have to establish the connectivity i have to create it here then i can transfer the data using the scc9 is the transaction code scc9 is the transaction code to transfer the data from one system one client to another system another client here but how to create the connectivity here so then here to create the connectivity here we need to discuss about the so rfc administration part administration we have to discuss here rfc administration why because you have to establish the connectivity right so then then connectivity establishment purpose you need to create a connectivity connection you have to create it in your mobile you can go to the settings bluetooth just create the bluetooth connectivity that is fine to so your mobile for your friend you can pair it then you can transfer the data that is what we do normally right but without connectivity how can you transfer the data it's not possible it's not possible here right it's not at all possible to you then in this case how to do that one how to do that one so here in essence sap side we have sm59 is the transaction code sm59 is the transaction code here to so create the connectivity sm59 is the transaction code to perform the this connectivity and everything here sm59 right sm59 is the transaction code here so go to the system to create the connectivities here suppose sm59 right go to the sm59 transaction code just create the connection here just create the connection here so then so same as like just go to the connect create the connectivity here this is the connect configuration of the rfc connection here rfc means remote function call which means remotely we can call the functions from one system to another system we can call the remote function call here right just go ahead and create the connectivity here go ahead and create the connectivity suppose suppose here types of connectivities are there so how we have in the real world we have the connectivity right connectivity to the same mobile connected to the different mobile connected to the iphone and anything many things are there right here also the types of connections are there like here the types of connections rfc connections so one is the above to above connection above to above connection 
then above to above means your source and target both are above these terms you can establish the connectivity right that is also connection possible then above to the external connections third party sites and everything you can establish the connectivities right which means so external connections means http connections browser based connections that is also you can establish the connectivity and also tcp ip connection the program based connections also you can connection it then internal connection system internal related right so these are the so few types of connections are there in the sm59 you can see here the types of connections here suppose you want to establish the connectivity to the your quality system right just click the create symbol here create symbol here just create the quality quality something like that you can create it right right that is the so quality system so what is the host name here you have to provide the in the technical settings tab here you have to provide the target host details what is the target host sap windows 1 then what is the instance number what is the instance number of the quality here so both are same both are same but here the target the quality instance number is the 20 here right 20 the target is instance number is the 20 so uh, not the 20 maybe we will create it for the production here right you can see the production 10 right 10 we have 10 we have the connectivity here so 10 we have the connectivity here right so 10 so then in my connections list i am creating the so 10 here right 10 i am creating here right so here we have the gateway options it's not optional only it's not mandatory why because you have the some gateway settings here here you have the some gateway settings are blocking you can just do, uh you have the gateway security concept everything you configured then you have to dedicatedly you have to define the gateway security but for the above connections this is the optional but when it go to the tcp ip connections program id connections that time gateway settings are mandatory here otherwise the program will not be allowed through gateway so here you have to maintain the gateway settings and everything here so then this in the technical settings tab you have to define the your target host name and instance number you have to define it here just click on the so button then destination is saved here right destination is saved here now just check the connection test here whether it is connecting or not so you have the connection test is results okay you have log on is 351 milliseconds you got the response here suppose check it out suppose you wrongly given anything here suppose you wrongly given the host name so what exactly happens here just click on the connection test your connection will be failed here so you are wrongly given it will check that is the parameters the target host that instance number is exist or not it will check here then it will check then it will give the so it is checking the connection test is checking so because the bluetooth connected if you give the wrong parameter what will happen it will may fail it right same as like here also it is not reached it's not reached to the gateway even so which means the connection is failed so why means so we have we don't have such system we don't have such system in our landscape right such system right and there is no system in the in this instance number now just test it it is okay now why because it is exist right so that is the reason we have to give the connection test like this you have to provide the connectivity test and everything then just only connectivity test that is fine technical settings fine but you want to create you want to if you mention the username and password if any data if any data is going from here to here so here the user id authentication and password is required right the system related user id and password is you have to maintain here then only the system will go it will it will load the data into the your target system right so without this one it cannot be loaded the system the data cannot be loaded here so in this case you have to maintain the username and password also in which client it this should go and also what is the user what is the password you have to maintain all those things you have to create it here all those things you have to maintain here just click on the connection test then only it will go and check it out so connection test will work but what about the if you go to the test here 
here you have the authorization test authorization test means so it will check the whether that user id password is correct or not so we given the wrong user id password that's why we got the this password is wrong something like that we got like this is wrong so then immediately i given the so different one more username here which is valid for the production then click on okay button click on the connection test connection test is okay what about the authorization test authorization test so authorization test also okay right now my connection will go and place the data into the systems without asking the any user id password why because i have already so mentioned the user id password here i have already mentioned the user id and password also just if you click on the remote login then you will get the that remote screen also you will get from here right see here i got the production screen also prd screen also i got it why because i can just login from our development just if you click on the remote login i can log into the my prd client also prd system i can log in right see my prd system is open here right why because here the user is valid here the user is you maintained here that is valid here that is having correct user and in this client that is having the password here that is the reason you are able to log into the, the target system authorization test everything will work here right so that is the way we have to create the connections so this is the sap above to above sir i want to create the connection to i want to create the connection to the one of the http site maybe we can take like google common or everybody common site we can take it here go to the connection site connection type here you can see here so we have the here you can create the the connections here either external servers like http connections like that you can create the connections here right so here you can just pull the connectivity just to create the con just provide the technical settings tab you can create it here technical settings tab you can create it here what is the host name maybe the google host name is www dot google.com what is the instance number eight zero right what is the prefix nothing is there just google just google okay just click on the okay now connection is created right just click on the connection test here so we should get the success here 200 results you will get it out here why because we are testing to the google okay now if you go to the response what is the response you got it here now you see the google home page you got it right means you got it home page which means if you want to send any data to the google providers so if you want to get the data from any data to or from google then you can use this connectivities you can use this connectivities to sap system where it is stayed here if you open expand it here you have the connections are there here right if you open this one you have the connections are there here right if you open it so your connections are there here right so this is the connections we can create it here 80 is the default and 443 is the http https site for the default for every site here right so let me try to create one more one more maybe so one more test i'm trying to create here the test one one test example i'm creating http site so one of the http site is called the http colon slash slash so one of the my site is called the online finance dot so dot in I'm just checking whether it will work or not. Connecting to the eight zero is failed. So because my my gateway, my router connections will not be allowed here. So online, online, along here. my router connections will not be allowed here my router connections will block all other connections and everything security more security that's why so it will not allow yeah it's not allowing you to connect it here but when you open it here when you open from outside when you open from outside 
the connection will open here. Everything has gone wrong. So connection will open. See here, here you got the connections here. Right, you got it here. So still that uh, to progress. Now now see, let's see. Yeah, it is failing. See here, it is getting failing here. It is getting failing. So we have to troubleshoot it. Why it is failing? Why? So what is this like this? So we have to troubleshoot it. Okay. So that is the sometimes the connections may fail it also. That we have to take care. Right. So that time connections may fail. So sometimes connections works fine. Connections fails means we need to check whether you are giving the correct details or not. So this is a way we have to create the connections to the your respective systems. We can create the connections. So why we are discussing about the, this part today? So we are discussing about the remote client copy. For remote client copy, first of all, you need to establish the connectivity between the systems, right? That is the foremost important. So to perform the remote client copy, what you have to do? The first step you need to you need to you need to create a so create a RFC destinations to the RFC destination to your target client you have to define it then so go to go to target client go to the target client then you can start the target client then so execute the transaction code scc9 for the remote client copy then select the destination you can copy the data same same way so let's see here so how to log in here then if you go to the here system so so let me log into the so your production system. Okay, let me log into the production system here in the production system. <coughs> here. So I want to pull the data from development to here, right? Then I need to establish the connectivity here. Then you need to log into the target system, then establish the connectivity, go to the SCC9, pull the data. That is what we have to do it here, right? So let's do here. It's very slow. Go to SM59 transaction code here. Why? Because we have to establish the connectivity, right? So, first of all, without establishing the connect within the system, fine. You no need to create the destinations and everything. But this is the external system, different system between two cities. Then, if you want to move the data from Hyderabad to Bangalore, so what you required? Connectivity is required, right? Either the air connectivity or road connectivity. So this connectivity is required here. Then only you can just go ahead and pay, place the your data or you can give the parcel delivery to your friend, right? So without connectivity is not possible here. That is the reason we are establishing the connectivity here. We are establishing the connectivity here. Oh my God. This is taking a lot of time. Maybe you created in the source, right? So just to go to the our source system here. You created already something quality you created. Go to the here. SCC9 is the transaction code here. SCC9. SCC9 is the transaction code. But here I need to log into the target client here in the development system. So target client, I have to log in here. So go to, so I want to pull the data, some data here. So I have to go to the here. I think we got the screen here. You can see here, we got the screen. Let's open. Let me log into the, uh, which client we have? 200, 100 client. Maybe if the newly created client, we don't have any user. 
then we can log into the SAP star with the pass we can log in. So what about the 400? 400 is available? No. Which client is available? No. Let me check what is the client here. How to check which client is available in that system or not? Anybody knows? Four, you can see the list. Right, right, right. So SCC four, we have to check the connections. SCC four is the transaction code here. But anyhow, we have so I can pull the data from here. This is taking time. Just to ignore for now. Maybe I will log into the one client here. So if you go to the SCC4, you will get the number of clients. What are those number of clients you will get it out here? Suppose take example 104. So 104, 105. Right? Just log into the target client, target system, right? Target system. <coughs> right? Change the client to the 105. Then just to make it like SAP star with the pass. Okay. If this is locked. Zero zero five, you can. Yeah, it is working. Did I see? I used it. Okay. So, here, what you have to do here for remote client copy, you have established the connectivity to the, your source system, right? You have the source, right? So, something like quality you have created, right? Or production you have created here. Someone already created, right? So, you have created the connectivity you have created here but the instance number is mandatory here like because where it is going to connect it then after that once it is connection is done <coughs> go to the scc9 is the transaction code here you need to go to the scc9 transaction code select the profile which data you want to transfer suppose users then here destination you need to choose it here you created the destination right something like quality or something like that the destination you have to choose it here then you can pull the data from so destination you need to choose it here once you choose the destination just to run it in the background once just it is the prd source is the prd 001 client data you are getting to the 105 data so just schedule as a background job it will run in the back end otherwise if you start immediately what will happen it will run in the front end it will run in the front end here but here see source client is protected that against data from export right because here the source client the source client is there right so here this is the protected protected means in the in the client settings they have done the some not to copy the data not to copy the data that settings they have they have mentioned here that is the reason you are unable to copy the we are unable to copy the data here so we need to change that one we need to change that one so you see here it is taking some time why because here <coughs> load generation is required here means as then we have to execute it one time then it will be very speed so as then we have to execute i think we have not executed the any as then so that is the reason it's taking a lot of time here in the system Here, how much time it is taking? So you can see the right client is protected against the data export, which means there is a one setting in the SCC4. SCC4, there is a one setting here. In SCC4, in SCC4, there is a one setting here. If you go to the here, here they have maintained as a some client copy protection levels, no overwriting or something, they have set it out. So that is the reason. So you are getting this error, you are getting this one. So that's why I'm trying to change it now. Mm. 
then what is the use of the production plant here? This much of slow. Okay, so we have the zero zero one. Now four grams are now it is compiling for the speed up purpose. We have to execute the SZ. So please do that one. So that it will be very fast. Oh my God. So that is the reason I started creating this one. This one. So I started using so uh, Fury that browser based URLs. It's taking time, right? So that's why I pasted yesterday one thing, right? So means if you open the URL, if you open the my URL here, <coughs> then so it will it will ask you to username and the password. means you have a gmail id password authentication also fine here so i'm not sure we dev here development right development so that you will get the apps like that. So development, quality, production, still I have to work. Just if you click on this button, so immediately you will get, you can open this from your mobile also, you will get the screen, as if screen you will get from your mobile also, right? This is the development related. Just you can practice it from here also, you can do the practice. So even your mobile phone also, you can practice it by opening the URL. Instead of waiting all these things here, so here uh, you are waiting, you need to change it here and you need to see protection level, they have set like no overwriting, no overwriting, so which means, so it's not possible to copy the data. So otherwise you can use it, I will tell you in the, the class how to get this, this one, how to register this one, so that whenever you are your journey are traveling, just to open the URL, then all the systems are in the your console all the systems are in the your console so that so you will get the uh, all systems are in the console you can log in and you can practice it right so that is fine with your gmail account you can log in you can practice it that's we will try now but because so old methods all are old methods so now we are exploring we are in the new user interface and the generation also getting changed so we will change our access procedures this is what the <coughs> we have to do here. This will not exist. Okay, so where it is? Where is it? Okay, our development system. So what I will do here, what I will do here, I will go ahead and change the I will destination to different client here. Quality, I will go ahead and change the quality client to the different one. Change button, pencil symbol, you go to the logon security, maybe you can change it to the 100 client here. Right? So when you change the destination, the password, you have to retype the password here. You have to retype the password here. So then just to retype the password, right? Just click on the save button. <coughs> Next. Then perform the connectivity test. So the connection test okay now. So now go to your uh, which client. So you are in the which client you want to go. Just to go to that client now, right? 
where you want to transfer the data, go to that client 104, not 104. There is a client, right? So Okay, so go to your SCC9. So SCC9 in your development system. So SCC9, so is our here also we need to change the so which which client. One zero five, right? One zero five. So you can just go to go to DDIC user. <clears throat> Here, go to SCC four, SCC four. Check the client settings. So what we have done is here we have done the client settings. We have done it. Then destination we corrected it here. Then go to the SCC nine is the transaction code. SCC nine is the transaction code. Here select the profile which data you want to see. Then select the destination. So quality destination. Then it is pointing to the hundred client. So this is the source client, source name, and source client here. You are pulling the data from source hundred client to the target is the development one not five client. So if you run immediately, that will run immediately. But it will run in the front end. If you schedule as a background job, that will run as a background job in the back end. So that so that will run as a background job in the back end. So that it will, it won't, it won't take any, it won't give any. Uh, now the screen is freezed until you done the client copy. The screen is freezing now. Why? Because you are running in the dialog mode. When running in the dialog mode, your screen is freezed. Freezed means you cannot navigate to the any screen here, right? That is what you have to do it from here, right? When you are running the back end, then the background job will take care of the background jobs. Then you can do the other activities also in the back end. That is what uh, execution in that start immediately execution in that dialog mode. So all these this is a schedule as a background job means it will run in the background job mode, right? So that is what it will happen here, right? So now what it will happen now it will pull the data from your production production hundred client. It will pull the data from production your hundred client to your target is the one not five client. It will the so data. So here you can choose any profile. Suppose you, your requirement is only copy the so only user data. Then you can choose the SAP underscore user. Your requirement to copy only profile. Then profile. Your requirement to copy all the data. Then SAP underscore all. You have the client copy profiles, right? You can choose it. Whatever the profile you want to choose it, you can choose it. Suppose if you go to the so client copy profiles, you have the list of profiles are there here. Better I we stop the production. It's very slow. See here, it is processing the tables here. It is processing the tables. Tables are getting processed. See here. So the screen is freezing now. You can see you cannot navigate until completion of the activity. Why? Because we are starting in the so immediately dialogue mode we started. So if we start in the background mode, it will start it. But we started in the dialog mode. The tables, all the data, all are processing from so your production to here. It is processing. In the production, you can observe it here. In the production, you can observe the so background jobs in the dialog mode right here. And whenever we go to the here, you see the the client copy is reading from the three one not five client copy is reading. See here how many sessions are initiated here, and also you see what is this here everything. And also, we can also see if you go to the AL08 for all users list. So, RSM04 logged on users list. We will also get the screen from here. <coughs> see here how many sessions, RFC sessions are initiated to the, your target client. Right? That is what happening in the here. Right? The data is getting transferred here. So, the data is getting transferred to the your system here. So, that is what we have to do it in the system right so this is the so 
thing here. So this is the you are a web based web based you are a login pad SAP SAP login pad here. This is the web based SAP login pad here. Okay. So this is the way you need to so copy the data copy the data from source client to target client either the within the system that is the local client to copy outside the system that is the so remote client to copy. Your only thing is for the remote client to copy you need to establish the so you need to establish the connectivity then once you establish the connectivity we can go for that one we can create the we can establish we can initiate the remote client copy using the scc9 is the transaction code we can check it out scc3 for the locks we can check in the scc3 transaction code okay so this is about the remote client copy and rfc administration rfc administration is for the connecting between two systems is called the RFC administration. Here you need to create the connectivity. So both are same systems, above, above, fine. So both target is different, then you need to choose the external system. Target is the third party, you can choose the some TCP, IP connections, internal connections like that, you can choose it here, right? The types of connections in SM59, we can see. Types of connections in the SM59 that you can see here. If we go to the SM59, you can see, <clears throat> the types of connections here so above to above connections right then also external connections you have and also you have the rtcp ip connections you have so all these connections you have in the systems right so you can check it out all these things here so and also we can check the client copy logs if you go to the scc3 transaction code here just all the all the clients maybe you will get the whether the client copy is running or not, you will get everything from here. Already, I think our guys are practicing. So client copy is done, right? Client copy is getting completed here. So this is the way we can practice it here. See here, in the dialogue mode you started. So see here, it's all these things are successfully executed, successfully executed, how much time it's taken, all the information you got it, right? So this is the way your client copy got successfully completed here. Right? This is in the dialogue mode. Until you run in the dialogue mode, that is fine. So if you run in the background mode, it will run in the background. In the dialogue mode means, so it will create the, so in the dialogue mode, in the dialogue mode, it will create the some new, uh, new sense, like it will hung it in the dialogue mode. Right? That is what will happen in the systems here. Right? So that is the so dialogue mode here. So that is the remote client copy and uh, RFC administration. So any questions from anyone? Anyone, any questions on the regarding the RFC administration and uh, this one, remote client copy? Clear, right? Anyone? So in the next, I will explain. So suppose you need this access, which one? Uh, you